So if you know my channel at all, you know I love tanking my YouTube algorithm by talking about virtually anything involving gaming that immediately pops into my head. But one of the constants that I often talk about on this channel is my love of classical MMORPGs or classic MMORPGs such as World of Warcraft Classic, EverQuest, Ultima Online, etc, etc. And in this video, I want to tell you why, where, and how you should play old school EverQuest. First, let's start with where you can play classic EverQuest. Well, the first way you can play classic EverQuest is playing on time-limited progression servers that are the official servers owned by the company Daybreak. I personally, and I don't want to offend anybody, recommend against playing on time-limited progression servers. The idea behind time-limited progression servers is if you're coming from the world of Warcraft, is that they progress seemingly similar to the way Classic went into Burning Crusade, went into Wrath of Lich King over time, albeit slightly differently because EverQuest is a different game. My big downside to these servers and why I suggest not playing on them is similar to why I don't want to play World of Warcraft anymore, which is that there is a thing in the game called Krona, which for those of you coming from World of Warcraft is the same as the WoW token. But in EverQuest, remember in EverQuest, unlike World of Warcraft, most gear is not bindable. So you can literally pull out the credit card, walk down to Eastern Common Lands, and tweak out a character in absolutely amazing gear pretty quickly. And that level of pay to win just ruins the game for me, combined with the fact that most spawns are botted. And it's just, it's, I've played a lot of TLP, but it's not my thing anymore. So I don't recommend doing it. I don't recommend giving them your money at this point. Okay, so what's the other option? Well, the other option is a wonderful server called Project 99, which has a progression server called Green, which I think is more or less completely progressed now, and the original server called Blue. Those are both good options, and that plays on a very old client that can be a bit tricky to get your hands on, but I trust the watchers of my channel are clever enough to figure out how to get your hands on the Titanium climate client for that server. The downside to Project 99 is it's been progressed for quite some time. I remember I started a character there about four years ago and some nice dude just handed me like 4,000 plat and like really good gear immediately. It can be fun. It's a very nostalgic client for me because I played EverQuest on that client as a uh, as a little kid and uh, at launch and it was, it was fantastic. So I have a, some nostalgia for Project 99, but truth be told, I haven't put a lot of hours in. I think my top character is like level 16. Um, experience rates are also quite slow on that server compared to both the TLP and the server that I'm going to mention next, which is Project Quorum. So Project Quorum comes from an inse a separate uh, EverQuest emulation project from Project 99. Project Al um Project Quorum runs on the Alcabor emulator, which seeks to emulate the Macintosh version of um, EverQuest, which back in the 90s, development cycles were very different than they are now for MMOs. And the Macintosh version of EverQuest, uh, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, was an entirely different version of EverQuest that stopped at, I think, the fourth or fifth expansion, Planes of Power, and thus never progressed beyond that. So it's an EverQuest frozen in time running on a very different client. And if you're thinking, hey, Old Man Banjo, I use I don't use a Macintosh, well, they've sorted that out for you and the client now runs pretty well on PC. It's a very different experience to some extent than uh, what I remember as a kid on the PC version, but uh, it's probably the best place to play on now. The GMs are very active in making sure things aren't overly camped. There's no pay to win. The server just launched. I think they're progressing to the first expansion in a week or two. So inflation hasn't run rampant and a lot of things like that. I've had a really good time playing on the server. Everyone's been really friendly. The team behind it seemed very involved. If you've never played EverQuest before and you should play EverQuest before, you should play EverQuest now if you haven't played it before. Do check um, out this server. Uh, yeah, just had just had a great time on it. Uh, some people have rushed for things and gotten twinked, and that's ex uh, always to be expected for EverQuest. But overall, really good server. That's the answer to the question where you should play EverQuest. You should play EverQuest right now, in my opinion, on Project Quorum. I'll leave a link in the description below. And if you've never played EverQuest before or you haven't played in a long time and you want to start playing EverQuest, leave a comment in this video below. I'm going to try and get a group together of people playing the server. I said I was going to do it like a month ago and I haven't gotten around to it. I've been very, very busy, but I really do want to do it with you guys. So yeah, hit me up. All right. On to why, if you're coming from one of my other videos, why you, for the first time ever, should check out a game that is now, what, 20, 
22, 23 years old? Let me get into it. So there's a lot of arguments you can make for and against playing EverQuest, and I'm not going to turn this into a video essay on MMORPGs, because I can do that in another video. One reason that I want to give here, though, as to why you should check out EverQuest for the first time boils down to one single emotion and the effect that that emotion has on MMORPGs and how enjoyable they are to play. And I think that emotion often goes really understated by a lot of people, and that emotion is fear. If you've never played EverQuest before, there are some things that you need to know. First of all, there are no maps. So if you get lost in a dungeon, you are genuinely lost. You may need to ask for help from other players to come and get you. You might wander around a corner in a lower level zone, suddenly to find yourself staring down face to face with something that is definitely going to kill you. Now, in a game even like World of Warcraft Classic, this might be an inconvenience. You died, and unless it's hardcore, well, you'll just respawn and walk back and know not to do that again. Doesn't work that way in classic EverQuest. If you're above level 10, and that monster that you suddenly discover as you turn that corner with your heart leaping out of your chest turns and one-shots you, you need to go back there and get your corpse. How are you going to do that, you may ask, if the monster is standing there over it? Well, you're going to have to reach out to other players. And it's this level of fear, the need to know where you're going, to always be checking around the next corner, to maybe have a community out there that can help you when you're struggling, is not just part of the game or a nice add-on. It's a necessity to the whole social experience. And what drives EverQuest, what makes it, what gives it that Dungeons & Dragons tabletop feeling is that death really matters. It's not as harsh as classic World of Warcraft Hardcore, which I think is another example of why fear is really important for us to enjoy MMORPGs. But in my view, EverQuest hits the nice median ground between the two, where there's enough fear, but it's not the complete absolute loss of a character that you get in Hardcore. And I, yeah, that's why I think you should try out EverQuest if you haven't before, because I think given all its jank, which will require you to put up with um, certain issues, I think you might find that you really enjoy the feeling of wandering in first-person mode through a very old-school dungeon and not knowing what's around the next corner or if you've already become hopelessly lost. And somehow, for me, that's what makes me immersed in my character and in the world. And now we get to the easiest part of this video, how? Unlike Project 99, which requires you to seek out the original Titanium EverQuest installation, install it from the ISO files, or original CDs, because you bought those on eBay, Project Quorum doesn't require that, nor does it put you in the horrible position of installing that and accidentally clicking the patcher, which would then cause you to start the whole process over again. Project Quorum just posts the server files on the link that I will uh, post below this video. Uh, so yeah, check it out. And if you do check it out and actually want to play it, hit me up. I've got a level 11 druid and a few other characters at low level. I'm kind of just messing around and enjoying the classic zones. You know, I don't want to push too hard. The aforementioned fear has got me a little bit. <laughs> so, uh, but I, I, I'm probably going to go to the bottom of Blackboro today if I can manage it after I finish my work and this video. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more MMO content and general rants from me, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.